Also, we should just mention, I just tweeted it too, and Jason talked to the family yesterday, but our thoughts and prayers are with the Wooten family as uh, Morgan Wooten, the legendary DeMatha basketball coach, is in hospice care. Of course, uh, he coached Jason. He was my history teacher. Mm -hmm. He has touched, I was thinking about it, tens of thousands. I don't know that it's hundreds of thousands, but tens of thousands of students at DeMatha. Anybody who walked the halls Mm -hmm. of DeMatha, Morgan Wooten was a role model for and, you know, tough time for the family. He's 88 years old. He led a spectacular life. I yeah. can't think of a better role model yeah. than, than Coach Wooten. Yeah, he's been in and out of the hospital in the last 12 months um, up at Hopkins. And finally he just said, I want to be at, at the house with the family. And that's where he's going to be. Right. Um, but, it's yeah, it's pretty sad. He always, you know what? 88's a good run. I would have yeah, taken 88 with my mom. It's a great run. Absolutely. You would have taken 88 run. with your dad. Absolutely. But um, still, anytime anybody, he, it's the end of the correct, run. Yeah, I mean, he's you know he's in pain, and it's that sucks. That part sucks. He's kind of in and out of it. But um, I I asked the family if the, if they were taking visitors. They said no. Yeah. So I just sent a text to Joe Wooden, who's yeah. his youngest son, and uh, he's going to read the text to the coach. So it's it's nice. And Dematha was on TV yesterday. They played. Uh, yeah, I was Rancho telling EB. I didn't see the Dematha game. I saw Paul the Six yep. because. And the only reason I stuck with it, I'm just flipping through the ESPNs, mm-hmm. and it was Sierra Canyon, which is where LeBron's son plays. And I saw LeBron with the beanie and the crowd. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so I like stuck with it for a couple minutes. I was like, oh, they're playing. <laughs> I can't be Paul the Six from Fairfax. And Paul the Six from Fairfax. And then I just saw really the end of the game, and they beat Sierra Canyon. Mm-hmm. And then they said, that's two wins for the WCAC. And then I looked at the guide, and I saw DeMath had played earlier. Right. My DeMath, only frame of DeMath reference DeMath. for Paul the Six is that so many McDonald's trips to the McDonald's right next to the <laughs> yeah. campus yeah. when we used to work in Fairfax. I think it's well, moved, moving, right? No, not yet. It's it's moving. It's going to be out near. It's actually going to be out near uh, Drabby. Yeah, ah. but it's going to be a beautiful campus. I'm sure. But Paul the Six and Demath are both top ten programs in the country. I think and, they had Paul the Six ranked. 13th or yeah. 14th. So, all right, so top 20. But um, Paul, the sixth best player, is Jeremy Roach, who was out last year with a knee injury. He's going to Duke. He's a stud. I mean, he's so quick. He's such a great athlete. But they were playing against Bronny. Now, Bronny's young. He's a freshman. My understanding is Bronny doesn't even play that much. He's he like wasn't role, playing when I watched player, it. They yeah. had a yeah, big, I mean, he's young. He's young. They had, by the way, a big Asian guy, like yeah, a Yao did. Ming type. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at one point, he just, I mean, he just stood up with his arms up. There was a, it was basically a two on one break, and then Paul the Sixers had to bring it back out because he was such a huge guy. Yeah. Right. I mean, he had to have been. They never talked about his size. I only logged like three minutes with it. Okay, I'm not. Right. I didn't watch much. They never mentioned. He had to be seven two. Yeah. I'm not, we, I'm not sure how tall he was. He was but so he, tall. You should go to these volleyball tournaments because you run into a lot of ballers. Right. Right. Yeah. So like. Uh, I saw Jalen Rose a few weeks ago. He was at a turn. We were playing their daughters play. Yeah, we were playing with Rusty Larue's kid. Mm-hmm. Um, Rusty Larue. <laughs> I mean, I've heard that name. I can't place him. What a baseball well, Rusty, player? He, I don't even know. Well, he was a oh, like a, football and basketball. Right. He played with the Bulls. I believe he, he won a championship. Wake Forest. With the Bulls. It's all. It's kind of yeah, quarterback okay. and yeah. played on the hoops team at Wake Forest. Gotcha. But yeah, and then there was this big. Tall white guy looked like I know it wasn't Bryant Reeves, but he looked like a Bryant. Like you see <laughs> right. these guys, and now they're now with their children now, and you right. know they played big time college or professional basketball. Yeah. Um, well, you run into them all the time. The PVI coach is Glenn Farello, who's yeah. been, had a great program there, but he was at your he school. He was at Roosevelt a long time ago. He was there for 10 years. Yeah, Roosevelt yeah. for a while was actually pretty decent. And for he, was public bringing, schools. he was I think bringing it's when he, Coach Farello yeah. was there. Right. And he was bringing a lot of the PG County kids over to PVI in Fairfax. Now they're moving even further west, but excellent program. The PVI DeMatha games are going to be awesome. They haven't played yet this year. But DeMatha. Beat Rancho Christian, who has the number one player in the 2020 class, a kid named Evan Mobley, Mobley, who's going to USC, and they just dominated him. Hunter Dickinson, who's going to Michigan, just dominated him. So it was good to see DeMatha win on Wednesday the 29th is when they play. Is that at DeMatha? It's at DeMatha, yeah. yeah. That's a must-see. If you like really good high school hoops, you're going to see a ton of college players. Um, but, yeah, it was, the WCAC was getting a lot of national run last uh, yesterday on MLK Day on ESPNU. Yeah, only like I said, only saw a couple minutes. I I forgot is is Dwayne Wade's kid also on that Sierra? Yes, yeah. yes. See, is I had heard Wade? I had heard that that LeBron. I read somewhere in the it's that LeBron's thinking of transferring him because he's not playing enough. Because he's not playing enough. There's a the the, the 
during the little portion that I watched, they were hyping up another kid that was on Sierra Canyon who's number four in the country. Yeah. According to the Because I know Bronny rankings. had like 15 in like the game winning, right. like slashing drive or something a few weeks ago. Uh-huh. But I saw somewhere that he's only averaging a few points a game. Yeah, he doesn't play a lot. Yeah. But you got to remember, he's 14. I know, but. He, he, you know, when your dad's LeBron and you uh, think he's on a fast track to the I, NBA. I get it. Yeah, when LeBron was 14, I bet he was putting up more than yeah. that. He might not be on the fast track to the NBA. He's not LeBron. Yeah. I mean, he's. He might not even make it to the NBA. But special uh, well, the, news bulletin. Right, He'll survive. Right. right. He'll be okay. I mean, Jordan's kids didn't. <laughs> right. Right. They weren't even much of a well, I blame. I blame Juanita. The terrible <laughs> genes. She diluted the gene pool. <laughs> she just ruined the genes. Juanita. Oh, <laughs> terrible. But also. You're you're not growing up the same way. Like of course. LeBron's growing up hungry. Like that's his way out. These guys right. are growing up. LeBron soft. was growing up poor in Akron with, with nothing. To and get work ethic to be to be brawny to get work ethic has got to be so much harder. It's true. But like uh, you know, Harvey Grant made a lot of money. A couple of his kids sure. made the league. Oh yeah. You know, you can do it. Just gotta you know, no one's gonna have better training than Bronny. No. I don't He's know how have big everything he is. at his disposal. Was he about? Is he going to be about six three? Maybe six two, six three. He's not going to be think, as big as I his think dad. He's six two now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unless he gets a, um, a growth spurt here in the next couple of years. I'm still waiting for mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You keep waiting. Yeah. It's just not going <laughs> to happen. This year, You're stuck. Turn fifty. You're just stuck. <laughs> Never but, quite got to five nine. But five, the eight, amount three of quarters. the amount of people that were in that arena for that <clears> game, <throat> for that game in particular, obviously because they knew LeBron was going to be there. Was, I mean, standing room, standing room only, and you know, you want to see Bronny play too. But like you said, he's he's a role player. He might be the sixth, seventh man off the bench, and he's he's a young kid. He's fourteen years old, maybe fifteen. <laughs>